Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Do electric vehicles produce as much emissions as a gas car in Alberta? And how much does it cost to fuel an electric car? We contacted the Electric Vehicle Association of Alberta to find out. Hi, I'm William York. I'm on the board of directors of the Electric Vehicle Association of Alberta. Uh, We were established in 2014 on Earth Day. Our mandate is to advance sustainable transportation through the education and raising awareness of electric vehicles for Albertans. In response to claims on Twitter and Facebook that it's not cleaner to drive an electric vehicle in Alberta with its dirty grid, the Electric Vehicle Association created an online calculator. So the tool takes the live electricity fuel source mixture from the Alberta grid. You can see right here it's about 9.2% coal, 20% wind, and the rest is natural gas. And it uses that to compare an electric vehicle and a gas-powered vehicle. Um, and compare their grid intensity, their GHG grid intensity. So you can see right now an electric vehicle, Tesla Model 3 is about 5.73 kilograms of carbon dioxide, and a BMW 3 Series is about 21.5 kilograms of carbon dioxide. So much, much cleaner to drive the electric vehicle on Alberta's current fuel source mixture. About four times cleaner to drive an electric vehicle. Even with Alberta's fossil fuel-powered grid, the EV produces almost four times fewer emissions than a gas vehicle. If you change the province in the calculator to BC, it gets even better. So you can see you know, in British Columbia, it's only 1.59 kilograms of carbon dioxide versus that same 21.5 for the gas vehicle. So uh, 1 20th the emissions to drive an electric vehicle in British Columbia. For now, EVs produce almost four times fewer emissions in Alberta. But with the retirement of coal-fired power plants and the growth in renewable energy, that is expected to improve every year. The tool has been around for a couple of years, and just throughout that time, we've seen you know an enormous growth in both wind and solar production in Alberta. And, uh, you know, we really started to see this around 2016 when the NDP government introduced the Climate Action Plan and started uh, the process of shutting down coal plants in Alberta. Um, Very few coal remains and we've seen it in the tool. The the emissions savings by going to a electric vehicle have just continued to grow. And I've I've seen the roadmap of renewables um, projects in Alberta and uh, there's even more renewables coming on the grid. So I'm really excited to see where the tool ends up in a couple of years. The online tool also calculates fuel costs. So electricity is actually a lot cheaper than gasoline in the province of Alberta. Uh, So the second part of our tool lets you compare these same two vehicles, uh, but on a cost basis now. So if we scroll down, uh, we've input 20,000 annual kilometers driven, 15 cents per kilowatt hour, and a dollar sixty-five per liter for gasoline, and you can see that it's about a seventh cheaper to drive an electric vehicle than it is a gas-powered vehicle. And we have a little graph there to show you the uh, rough cost comparison there on an annual basis. And so you factor this into the total cost of ownership, and let's say over ten years of owning the vehicle, you'll save about twenty-five thousand dollars with this uh, this comparison right here. On green energy futures, we often hear from EV owners that say it's five times cheaper to fuel an EV. But with current gas prices, it's now seven times cheaper to fuel an EV versus a gas vehicle. William York drives a 2018 Tesla Model 3. He says he's saving $2,000 a year on fuel costs. We'll post a link to the EV calculator in our blog at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.